Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeff Robbins, Robbins Racing. So I got another customer engine in, Briggs LO206. And I was getting ready to throw this thing on the dyno and I noticed that the exhaust header bolts had been completely stripped out. So we're gonna need to actually get some helicoils installed. If you look down there, you can actually see all the threads sitting down there in the bottom of the hole. So we need to get some helicoils in there so that we can get this mounted back up. To do this, we're gonna need a little helicoil kit. Um, and that'll allow us to get this little guy installed in there so that uh, those studs have something to grab onto. Uh, when I got the engine, the header was already off, but the bolts had come out and the studs came out with them. Uh, looked just like this. So I'm assuming they just got torqued down a little too tight. If you look over here, I've already got this one done. You can see the nice, shiny stainless steel threads in there. And I also did this one as well. Got some nice new threads in there. So I'm going to reposition the camera and we're going to do some drilling on the head and let's get this helicoil installed. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is we got to get this hole drilled out. And I've got some tape here on my drill bit. That's just to make it so that uh, I know I'm not going to go too far and drill too deep into the head here. And then once we have our hole drilled, we can get our tap tool and that's going to let us tap some new threads in there. Once we've got our new threads in, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll drop in the helicoil. So let's go ahead and get this thing drilled out. Just like that. Shoot a little bit of air down there to get out the scraps. All right, now that we got our hole drilled, we can get our tap tool and we're gonna just slowly tap some new threads in here. You want to try to make sure you go in as straight as possible. Once it starts going in, what you want to do is you want to twist it in and then back it up a little bit. Then twist it in a little bit more, back it up, twist it in, back it up twist it in and we'll just do that until we get to the, the bottom of our hole here. And I like to do this a few times. I almost like it to where I could just screw this tap in with my fingers without this tool before I start to put the helicoil in. Makes things a little bit easier. Still got a little deeper to go. So let's go a little bit deeper. And I like to do this a few times. See how nice and easy that goes in now. I like it to be like that the whole way down 
so when I go to put that helicoil in, it, uh, it doesn't bind up on me. Tight again. And unlike the drill, you really can't go too far with this thing. Once once you bottom out in the hole, it's gonna stop on you. But you don't want to tank down on it too hard and strip out all the new threads that we just cut in here. It's probably deep enough. Okay, I think we're definitely deep enough, but I'm gonna go back in one more time just to make sure I've got some nice clean threads. As you can see, the tap just is falling right in now. Okay, we've got our new threads in there. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and grab our helicoil. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna shoot that out with some air real quick. So with the helicoil, you'll notice it's got a little tab in there. We actually set this tool right around that tab and then that's gonna allow us to twist this helicoil in. And one word of advice, when you're putting this helicoil in, you're not gonna to wanna to apply any downward pressure. You're just gonna to wanna to twist it in. So it might be a little tricky to get it started, but you're not gonna to wanna to push down while you're doing this, because it's essentially just like a spring. And if you push down, it's gonna skip some of the threads and uh, you're gonna screw up your helicoil. So that's starting to go in. So I'm just going to twist it without applying any downward pressure. If we apply downward pressure, it's going to skip. And uh, you're going to be replacing your helicoil, trying to pick it out of here. You want to go so the helicoil is just below the top surface there. It should be good to go. All right, perfect. And once we get that in, the kit comes with this little punch. So what we'll do, we'll put the punch in there and we're just gonna tap that little tab off that we were using to spin this thing in. So we'll just give it a little tap. And that's gonna break off that little tab for us. Just to make sure we did the job right. Let's see if our stud goes in. Just like that.
So now customers not gonna have to worry about this uh, exhaust falling off, off for them when they're jumping over curves on the track. I'm gonna thread lock these in. You could probably use red Loctite to hold these in, but um, I'm just gonna use some blue to hold that in. Um, just in case for whatever reason they do need to come out they're not absolutely welded in there okay guys so that's how you install a helicoil in the top of your Briggs LO206 you can see we've got both our studs installed back in there so now the customer can put the exhaust header back on and tighten those up and then hit the track without any worries about that breaking loose so once again I appreciate y'all for watching have a good time at the track.